Um, Congressman Valdeo for hosting this all-important subject, um, really on our entire country and the state of it. Last night, Americans tuned in to the State of the Union. The State of the Union is a very important address for the American people for a lot of different reasons. One, the history of it since 1790, 233 years. Uh, that the president has addressed a body that has all three branches of government, the executive branch, the House, the Supreme Court, the Cabinet, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, all were here last night. Now, what's the purpose of the State of the Union? The State of the Union is where the leader of the free world gives a vision for America. They give their solutions to problems facing America. They give answers to questions that have been asked by the American people. What we saw last night from President Biden was a total embarrassment. What we saw last night was a president who was more eager to criticize this great nation than it was to heal our wounds. Here are my questions. Mr. Biden, why did you not offer solutions to these problems? Why did you not offer solutions to the invasion of our border to the tune of five million illegals that are crossing our border every day? Why do you not believe that a, a nation is not a nation unless it has borders? Mr. Biden, why did you not address the drugs that, as a result of the invasion at the border, the drugs, fentanyl primarily coming from China to Mexico back into our nation, that are killing thousands of people, 100,000 last year. Why do you not care about that? Mr. Biden, why did you not address our natural, our gas and oil problems? Why did you shut the Keystone Pipeline? Why? do you like foreign oil of OPEC nations, many who don't like us, example, Venezuela, Iraq, Iran, why do you like their oil better than American oil? Mr. President, why did you not address our national debt? Why did you not have solutions to what you were going to propose in a budget that you should have already produced that you have not done? Mr. President, why have you not addressed our crime problem? You cannot turn on any tele, tele, TV station without seeing the blue sirens, the deaths of many innocent people, the rampant crime that's up double digits in every city of America. Instead, you chose to criticize our great police force. Why did you not address the problem that we're all having with the police shortages that exist in this very capital. Why did you not address, Mr. President, a national security threat from China? Why did you not address the balloon that was allowed to go over our great country for eight days? Why did you shoot it over the Atlantic Ocean and not the Pacific? Why did you not shoot it over Alaska? Why did you not shoot it down or allow it to be shot down over Montana, which the worst that could have happened would have been a deer and an antelope that may have been, been hurt from a fallen balloon? Mr. President, why did you not answer why you left $80 billion of our finest military equipment uh, in Afghanistan? Why did you turn that over uh, to our enemies? Why did you close Bagram, the Bagram base, our military base, which is strategically located? Why did you not get, make sure every American were, were, was out and before you pulled the military out? Mr. President, these are just a few of the questions that you are directly responsible for, and the reason you did not answer them is because your position is you're causing them and it matters not to you. You know, <clears throat> last night it became apparent we have a president who not only 
refuses to acknowledge the realities that we face today, but you're doubling down on it. The spending that you're now placing on the American taxpayer will bankrupt this country, and you're perfectly content to, to move along with, with these insane spending um, that this, gov this country cannot take. We are at the end of the runway with the spending that you are, are putting on the American people. The taxpayers deserve better. The American people deserve better. And I think it's now, I'm happy to join my Republican colleagues. We're going to come up with a budget. We're going to, we're going to put this country back on a, uh, on a path of financial security. Uh, financial security is national security. And I'm happy to say that we're finally willing to address it. Uh, no longer can we turn a blind eye and no longer can we allow the leader of the free world to inflict the pain that he is inflicting on America. And I'm proud of my Republican colleagues to address this. And I will say this. I will say one good thing this president did in his speech. He united all true conservatives to fight the policies that are destroying this nation and that he is willing to, to happen on his watch. Thank you, Congressman Valadeo. I uh, appreciate you doing this, and I yield back.